Got another question for the unusual organic mechanisms playlist. So we're on to number three now. Hope you like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, why don't you think about doing that? And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So you'll notice I've highlighted the word nucleophile there. So we're told in the first box, this hydroxide ion acts as a nucleophile. So it's acting as an electron pair donor. And then if we look at the second box, you can see that the oxygen of the hydroxide ion has bonded to that sulfur. So in terms of curly arrows, what happened there is that there. Okay, so I've just zoomed in and added some sort of colors to help me explain the next curly arrow. So you'll notice I've highlighted the sulfur is yellow, the oxygen is red. We've got a yellow dot and a red dot. They obviously represent the pair of electrons in this half of the SO double bond. And then if we look at the sort of second box, you can see that that yellow dot and red dot are now up here, and we've gone from a double bond between the sulfur and the oxygen to um, a single bond. So what's happened is the pair of electrons that I've colored in have gone and jumped up to the oxygen there. So effectively that oxygen has gained that yellow electron and that's where that negative charge comes from. So if we move on to the changes that have happened between these two boxes here, you can see I've drawn the red and yellow dot on the, S, the new SO double bond. So basically what's happened there is this pair of electrons on that O minus have gone back to reform that SO double bond. And the other thing that's happened in this stage of the mechanism is this CH3O group here has broken away and become a CH3O minus ion. So again, I've put some dots on there, yellow for sulfur, red for oxygen. So what happened there is the pair of electrons in the SO single bond have gone onto that oxygen, which means that the oxygen has effectively gained an electron. It's gained that yellow electron from the sulfur and become negatively charged. And now if you think about what's happened to go from this second last stage to the products, you can see that the CH3O minus ion has become a methanol molecule, CH3OH. So what must have happened there is that pair of electrons has jumped out and grabbed hold of that hydrogen and bonded the hydrogen to the oxygen. And the other thing that's happened is this O here has become an O minus ion. So I've already put some electrons in there. Red for the oxygen, black for the hydrogen this time. So what's happened there is this pair of electrons has gone onto there and effectively the oxygen's gained that black electron and picked up that negative charge. 